650 institutions uh, uh, they they are from uh, all over uh, india sir yeah yeah so far it is uh, really very good uh, participation and all they are very uh, keenly interested to uh, to uh, associate with you and to uh, learn something from your uh, from you sir okay so sir uh, so sir uh, i am going to start uh, the session uh, mm -hmm. with your brief introduction sir uh, as i know uh, it is very difficult to introduce uh, you uh, in any in any seminar or uh, in any session sir because you have uh, uh, you have completed a lot of work in the academia and in the research sir. even you are uh, the the person who who is applying the research and development in uh, our real life especially in the disaster management sir so dear participants really it is very difficult to give the introduction of professor chandan ghosh professor and head resilient infrastructure mm -hmm. division national institute of disaster management ministry of home affairs and government of india uh, in brief professor professor ghosh is a passionate teacher motivator and innovator for more than 3 decades in various facets of entrepreneurship development are gently needed to infuse the contemporary world of disaster mitigation and management he works on disaster risk reduction domain including promotion of earthquake earthquake resistant resistant measures nature based pollution in air water soil rejuvenation bio engineering by vitier vitier graph he inspires the community to live with all facets of the faster with a zeal for creativity and problem solving skills he has more than 150 research publications in national and international journal proceeding of repute on soil liquefaction seismic microzonation geosynthetic land flight mitigation he is proficient in the fight specific hand fund training research documentation and policy policy advocacy of the country uh, guiding many institutions and universities to adopt skill based approach to sustainable development as professor and head in uh, national institute of disaster management he has made important contributions in if in in strengthening training self study and online curriculum with full exposure and professional credence in the disaster documentation he has been serving as an expert member in various in various committees formed by dda mcd ndma upf dft mood MOEs, to name a few, his professional equipment is effectively tapped by the non-life disaster insurance agencies, dam dam bust uh, disaster planning, hydrocarbon industries, construction and retrofitting agencies, etc. So, sir, really, we are privileged to have you in our uh, first session uh, of the faculty development program, sir. Oh, sir, I, I am handing over session to you, sir. Please, uh, sir. Uh, so it is always a privilege and pleasure and proud, uh, with a with a lot of lot of compassion as well as uh, interest uh, that being vibrant or being shown under the dynamic leadership of uh, Dr. P R Sarup and and uh, his uh, aura is always there uh, to to bring. Uh, Uh, you and all your colleagues uh, who are uh, giving uh, enough importance about the uh, this kind of development of the faculty development or the uh, in fact all the engineering teacher core engineering teacher now we do not take it as a just 10 years back what we used to say that it is only making software programs or something like that 
but now we say that it is a core so today while we are seeing uh, uh, the kind of uh, two years of covid period that uh, it has given lot of impact or it has impacted our life but it is a it computer science communication uh, that uh, has uh, given a monumental uh, i would say uh, support to keep the economy as on current date like budget has come out few days back but we see that it has increased the workforce in 1970s or 80s we used to consider especially in some of the you know state uh, government you know very well in the west bengal or something that it is going to take up the job of the uh, people but here uh, now we see that it is a biggest industry and it is employment uh, also has doubled in the last one year or two years so there are a lot of such policy and reports are coming up so in that case we say that uh, whatever i am going to discuss about these things uh, uh, today it is i think as i have been briefed by you uh, uh, that uh, civil electrical mechanical computer science and it so these are the core engineering uh, now i say that with a lot of proud and privilege that it is not that i i n t uh, information technology but it it combines and it takes every one of us every one of our life and interest so uh, today uh, i am going to present of course uh, with civil engineering related infrastructure but how much we are connected with the it devices especially post disaster and pre disaster warning with certain example so theek uh, hai i can share my slides yeah uh, yeah and i would say that all our uh, you see i am not an expert i am i am now my civil engineering work that whatever i did in uh, iit bhu more than two decades back or even some of the experience that i had in japan for about 7 years uh, uh, right now for the last 15 years or so working with an idm has made me more social more social more social as an engineer uh, rather solving problems with the economic way economic and deshi system we say uh, indigenous system whatever thing so i will show in my slides uh, that some of those uh, scenario which are mostly taken and collected from various sources uh, uh, which will be cited and very much familiar thing but how we connect them correlate them in the current day to day life as well as in future maybe in another 5 to 10 years where many of lots of our policy uh, whether it is a budget or whether it is de uh, disinvestment or whether it is uh, checking the health of uh, not only human being but also that there is a concept of one health one health uh, now the health we used to think that veterinary and human being but now it has begun with uh, not only air water which we say that they are not having life but water is holding the life but at the same time now holistic way of looking to our human health uh, belongs to uh, everything air water all these five elements that which we know very well uh, five elements we have never given uh, in a one health uh, domain now we have to look at not only the health of the human being but it is connected to the health of the soil health of the air water and many other things and even the animals even the microbes that moving around like i have got something here i will show as a gift uh, few days back that it is called bipolar iron uh, it is called uh, this one you can see this item so if i switch on this like here uh, you see that you, you can see the light is on so it is called bipolar uh, bipolar ionizer available in the market you can see so uh, now many of this here it is written bipolar uh, disinfector bipolar disinfector 
So this one, if you keep it on for a few minutes, something, the entire room of 240 square feet, according to this product details, although it is known the technology, just I have gone through that. Uh, uh, it is known to our world, but it is going to kill the bacteria. Not the bacteria, rather virus, which are aerosol born. And it is not only that uh, bipolar means it is both positive and negative ion. Those who are in the electronics, of course, you know better. I am just a user and given this product by the company. And it is there in my office, using it in my office. So maybe we'll have a little more discussion about uh, these things uh, at the end of this. So let me see uh, what uh, we can take it forward in between. I say that around 240 plus of uh, my colleagues are there. So you are most uh, welcome in between also to interrupt me. And let us take it as an interactive mode of uh, communication. Uh, whatever you want, you can write either in the chat box or you can raise your hand. And then because it is open, you can also switch on your uh, microphone and you can uh, directly uh, take part in the discussion and critici criticism or some more information, uh, whatever way that you can make, because it is, uh, it is a multidisciplinary and all of you are uh, my colleague and I have nothing much uh, to say more, but rather to get myself uh, familiar with your uh, thinking as well as your goal ahead for the next four or five years or 10 years from now on. Uh, with the current upthrust of our economy and the way that we should look at and the way that we should look at to our students that who are going to come maybe in another one, two, three weeks. Uh, depending on uh, whatever uh, circulars are there at every institute. Uh, but uh, it is a great time uh, that let us see uh, that how uh, we proceed uh, in this. So you are most welcome to interrupt. Of course, interruption is not to stop everyone, uh, but to have open discussion. And also you can write in the chat box uh, as you free. And I keep my chat box uh, open. Uh, Okay, uh, anyone you can write in the chat box and you can raise your hand, then we can take further discussion from your side uh, and from my side if I know a uh, little bit uh, more than what the slide speaks. Okay. Can you see uh, this, my screen? Can yes, sir. Screen? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So uh, uh, you can see that first I look at the infrastructure health scorecard, which is uh, still we have not yet started. Uh, means uh, every uh, in infrastructure, like whether it is railway, whether it is a bridge, whether it is an airport, whether it is a metro rail, whether it is a tunnel, so there are various categories of these infrastructures. It is not only one building or one beam or one column or some type of concrete and something as we see in civil engineering that we understand. But infrastructure, it consists of like entire metro, overground, underground, and then safety system or even train uh, that running across a rail line, normal rail lines, or the tunnels that they are in our many of the uh, long route tunnel in the Himalaya, uh, all these things represent the structure, uh, uh, that one kind of infrastructure. So how to rate their health, current health? There is a huge, huge demand for uh, checking the infrastructure health. And uh, unfortunately, uh, we have not yet thought in a much detail, but with the help of CIDC, uh, just uh, six, seven months back, we started putting such kind of things forward to our academia, especially engineering curricula, as well as the uh, 
as a training to the uh, young engineer who are going to pass out maybe in a year or two in the form of some kind of training and see that what kind of uh, tools and techniques are there and what is the uh, scope of getting uh, many, many of our uh, students that are budding engineers uh, to get the motivation to become a champion in the health checking of this infrastructure. Uh, if you know that we have uh, more than two, uh, 240 million or uh, 24 crores of buildings, building units are there. Uh, in that case, uh, checking the infrastructure, checking their health, checking that how they are going to behave due to uh, some kind of external event like earthquake, flood, cyclone, climate change, extreme temperatures, so many things are there. So how they are going to behave? Are they going to be strong enough? If so, how long? And if it is there, then what kind of grading as a scorecard? Like scorecard, we give A grade, B grade, C grade. So I will take example because we have not yet systematically taken up this one because we need a lot of thought process in this uh, to bring uh, some group of experts to reach uh, to this level so that uh, we be, we also start checking our infrastructure like uh, uh, our uh, uh, vulnerability at plus is there uh, but it is all in terms of some numbers but with this current age as we are having our satellite data and lidar and camera and each and every square feet area of our earth uh, can be now seen digitally can be stored digitally we can see the details in every square feet area in that case whatever is there underground or whatever is there overground taking one square feet as a pixel uh, and also there are several terrestrial photography and especially laser based camera photographs are there and not only that we have got 3d cameras are there walk through surveys are there through which we have to scan and at least take the entire geometry of the overground structure and underground utilities so that we can check before uh, they go out of uh, order. So that part, I'll show that how, taking example of America, that how uh, American Society of Civil Engineers, that they have taken a step, step forward. The last report came up. Sir, here is a PPT is not moving. moving. Yeah, yeah, now I'm going. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. And of course, when we talk about something like uh, infrastructure rating, and what are the modern perspectives? We again look back what went wrong. Uh, this is last year, February 7th, today. Today is the February 7th, just one year before. Uh, what happened in Chamoli uh, uh, district and due to the debris flow uh, that uh, some of the workers in NPPC, Tapovan Vishnugad area, uh, where uh, a dam was under construction and more than 200 workers were there and one of the worker got saved rescued by the team and you see that what is a hilarious uh, moment so it is exactly one year of uh, remembering this horrible experience that we had while covid has been going on for the last two years but at this case then uh, it is one kind of hilarious moment but when we look at all the five core engineering department uh, faculty members like your colleague you are there i'm also from the civil engineering discipline so uh, getting a life in this manner is no doubt uh, it is a very much uh, momentous but at the same time we have to look back we have to look at ourselves rather pointing somebody else that despite having uh, so much of engineering uh, thought process and infrastructure that who stopped us or why we have not thought in a project like this mega project uh, that some kind of warning system or some kind of uh, panic button system which i'm going to explain you with the kind of technology that have come forward 
uh, that uh, what kind of you know now like i am having mobile every one of you are having mobile and every mobile now as and when they are getting smarter and smarter and they are having lots of bio our health related things like step counter or other thing if we are walking we uh, it is all auto uh, it is all already implanted in the in the main and it is already there and there are new new things are being you now uh, made available especially health related things heartbeat spo2 uh, or even blood pressures and everything are being uh, now included in the in this so that is why uh, now having mobile phone with the sim card it is going to change in few years of time and also having some kind of uh, uh, low range or long range a lora based technology where it doesn't need electricity or anything some gateway will be there hello sir yeah hello sir uh, sorry to interrupt but uh, thing is that the slides are not changing actually we are st stuck in the first slide itself no you are i am just speaking on that it is one slide i am going background i am okay, not sir. that thank one. you it is there okay sir thank you so are working uh, sir so working so okay i am taking okay. some time giving a background in that so that is why now we are looking at you see uh, our our uh, mobile phone or there are certain kind of uh, uh, lora based technology long range uh, you know radio based communication technology is there uh, where we do not need mobile sim or anything it is certain range of that uh, frequency that it is going to that like radio communication that we have ham radio we have several radio mirchi fm am all these communications are there so based on that there are certain kind of chip and panic button or carbon dioxide sensor there are many such iot based sensors are there so in that background the modern perspective that i look at that you see these are all constructions and other things every dots and everything cranes and everything now there are operations that everything just like a uh, uh, say storehouse uh, something like uh, mega storehouse uh, like amazon uh, storehouse or something like that there are uh, lots of items are there but each and every item has got that address similarly in our digital construction phase also uh, we have got now such kind of uh, information and some sort of digitized uh, operations of each and everything uh, and then we can control them so let me again come another part uh we are now able to buy these things less than 200 like we have been using mask for the last two years and we know two years back when we didn't have enough stock or we have no idea we have to purchase and then indigenously we have developed but there are certain products coming into the market which are easily affordable even this is the highest price even 200 300 rupees are also there the transparent and you can see in google or in 3m which has got hundreds of such products are there so uh, uh, these are now coming up in the market uh, that where at least we can wear the mask uh, but uh, can you tell me or can any one of us who you are from various department uh, in the country is there any other is there our own technology or is there any lab where such kind of transparent material buying the material and making it that's all but is there any such industrial development or processing of this transparent things that which is which is not odd looking rather it has become a wearable devices not like the traditionally that we have been using while well, last two years back such kind of things also were not readily available now they are affordable in our country not seven, 799 rupees but even less than 1 rupee less than 1 rupee you can buy uh, from uh, from the local market uh, like this one is taken the screenshot is taken 100 of such things is available less than 100 rupees in the market so uh, starting from this and going for some kind of improvisation into that where some cost some research will be involved 
and making the product in this manner no doubt it is adding some kind of aesthetics and value at the same time uh, it is giving us assurance about the uh, you know aesthetics design also an innovation making a transparent mask this is just one thing that uh, which of course we have got the money we can search google search or amazon search or in 3m we can search it we can get it we are we have many of us we have got the affordable money uh, to buy these things and make a new wave of buying these things and then quality wise then the product wise this is uh, civil electrical and all engineering core branches are there manufacturing things are there but uh, let us look at the company or our own uh, uh, say uh, machinery where they are able to make such kind of quality products so uh, on the other hand uh, like this is uh, one kind of uh, sensor that here they have provided bipolar uh, and it is uh, this one as per specification it throws more than 2 million ions as per specification 2 million 4 million ions into the air and resulting that this the room size is around 220 square feet so it is fit for this one and there are some other which can be carried in our car or even in a small room it can be, it is carryable only we have to put usb so such kind of things have come up and we are very fast our country taking a lot of such things manufacturing here indigenously but as far as technology perfection checking while well, checking that as per specification this one is saying that it is 2 million ions positive and negative ion that it is uh, making but at the same time uh, whether it is really disinfecting my room or not i don't have any check for that when i ask the things that whatever indicator that it is giving how can i check is there any handheld or is there any instrument to check that well uh, this one is uh, giving 2 million ions over here how long i have to keep it and i am not using any mask if i take a meeting over here then how to check that whether the viral virus or fungus virus means covid virus whether it is free in this room especially in the closed room or not then the company said that for that we have to buy another product uh, which will check and verify uh, that whether virus is there or not which is costing 1.5 lakh but that is not from our country it is to be purchased from foreign country so in that case the kind of education and technology and manufacturing and the kind of msme team that coming up or manu- uh, we are making a lot of thing manufacturing where is that main crosscope of our uh, engineering and where we are doing a research in that where we are innovating on these things we are moving fast so much to open up lot many startups and venture capitalists and lot of things that they start in the 1980s now in our country we have started but we have to see that now that that period is very much in the last 4 5 years that we have several several uh, uh, say uh, unicorn that we have produced every month we are producing you can get all this data but if a product like this which is manufactured over here technology if it is from outside and if it is made affordable uh, it, uh, like this is 36000 something so it is not affordable for us for a office yes it is okay but in order to make these things indigenously here i think we have to go another at least 5 years uh, to to our studies and research and our teaching and the way that we should look at, we should look at that inviting not the manufacturer but innovators as well as researcher into our education and university arena so that these products can be developed over here so uh, now nanotechnology and biosensors many people are working and lots of publication is coming up and uh, you know it is taking and environmental monitoring and health diagnostics parts is also taken up 
and nanotechnology has led to the dramatic improvement in the performance, sensitivity, selectivity of biosensors. And at the same time, uh, how this is technology, uh, science is known to us, but we have to now devote our more time into the technology, innovation, industry four, uh, and uh, all this integration, synthesis that we have to do. So uh, there are lots of conferences, seminars are going on, nanotechnology and biosensors, and which you are aware of. I don't know much, uh, but I wanted to just highlight. Now, uh, let us uh, look at the reality of disaster. Because if I say something about the disaster, and which is very nicely pictorially, December 2020, a report came out. Here, the CRED crunch. CRED is Center for Research on the Epi Epidemiology of Disaster. So they publish uh, more, many more. Uh, it is freely available, issue number 61. And every uh, three, four monthly, they make it. Uh, issue number uh, 64 also has come out. So uh, now you see two decades of disaster in terms of size or number that you see a database. Uh, this 20 years before this millennium and last 20 years, you can say up to 2019, December. Uh, if we see that uh, uh, these numbers are getting multiplying or being added up. So which means in the 21st century, uh, by the name of this drought or earthquake or extinct or whatever categories are being made here with the pictogram, whether it is volcanic activity also, every number is increasing. Every number is increasing. Here you can see, except this one, of course, uh, not that many, much, but landslides, whether it is flood, whether it is earthquake, everything is increasing. And these are as per the database and events which are recorded, authenticated, documented, and uh, several publications are available. So what I mean to highlight that, not from civil engineering or anything, when disaster happens, it involves, it affects everyone, every facets of our life. When we see that some of the organizations are, uh, are dedicated to bring such kind of events in the form of a database, then we have to see that whether we are making any such kind of database in our country for the last 20, 30, 40 years or not. Uh, unfortunately, uh, there is no recognized agency in our uh, country who can produce uh, this data of our country, our districts, uh, even though several organize, organized efforts have been made. But what get published, you know, is uh, from this one, or there are many such database agency that uh, in terms of in, in disaster, you know, uh, these are the systematic way of presenting a palette of data. Probably the essence of these things have to come up in our, in our generation. We have not done so much, it's not that. Is that what we have been doing? Effort has to come in to, to make this data available to, uh, to to all our researchers in the May, yeah. Okay. So uh, this, uh, Okay. So I am going to make uh, this presentation next uh, 30, 40 minutes in this manner. Infrastructure report card, which is American Society of Civil Engineers, 2021. What is there? Then uh, very much we will say post-disaster communication. The first photograph they have huh? shown. There are one Indian company. I'll only play their YouTube video. Uh, if you have not been able to see that. Okay. 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 Most of the time, there is no communication. Communication okay. lines. Okay. 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 Sorry, sir. Uh, somebody has uh, unmuted the microphone. Okay, my is coming. Uh, yeah. Okay, let me go on talking. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Mr. Sushil Kumar, please uh, turn on. Sushil Kumar, sir. Sushil Kumar, sir. Okay. Thank you. 
सुशील कुमार और इस दर एनीवे समान के स्टॉप दर आई थिंक आई डोंट हैव एनी सच परमिशन हाँ ओके 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 ठीक है सो लेट मी टेक इट please repeat sir please okay. repeat yeah hmm. okay so uh, my uh, context of presentation is uh, of course so far more than half an hour i have given that what is the background that i am going to talk so infrastructure report card i i am going to give you certain things that how they are doing in the beginning of my uh, speech that i am telling about post disaster communication especially i'll uh, play one of the uh, youtube video which uh, you will see it is an indian company who are uh, making the post disaster communication that which is uh, uh, they establish the communication there itself after uh, any disaster site going at the disaster site so that uh, video you can see then how we have transformed ourselves from analog to digital signal in earthquake signal uh, seismology type related concern where you will see that uh, all of us together how we can work it is still not reality in our country's context even though a project is going on in iit roorkee but i'll show that what other countries have uh, come forward in this area using iot based design uh, devices and then early warning system because earthquake is the thing which cannot be predicted so what are the kind of communication that we can do before earthquake wave uh, reach to us so it is a very very interesting uh, things that are going on and it is a very fantastic way of reaching to the public before earthquake arrive to the spot that where we are along with our mobile having gps having geo code uh, uh, my own location so if earthquake comes wherever we are Uh, that what kind of uh, how much time that it gives that it gives you with certain uh, time that okay after thirty second the place that where you are uh, you are going to experience an earthquake shaking of intensity say six or seven or eight or whatever, whatever it is so that kind of things is is the current modern I say that the modern perspective. that before things happen we have to communicate and it is the right of the people or community whatever may be civil engineering mechanical engineering electrical engineering that we do ultimately we are answerable to the community we are answerable to the machineries that we are making or thermal power stations that we are making or the kind of distribution network that we are making if some kind of cascading effect is there then we have to look at in a more systematic way ultimately it is the community uh, where we are also belong to in whatever stake that we are holding in the in the society so in that case uh, what is countries what our country is at and how how much behind we are what other countries have been doing so far are we really uh, concerned in this area so i'll flag some of those things and there are some iot devices for communication doesn't need any electricity or mobile phone sim or other thing some of the application that i'll share with you uh <clears throat> just again some scenario here uh, more or less we know let us not put that it is only civil engineers have to handle Uh, these things of course there are some dedicated agencies are there in our country but uh, in order to save this area how much is the engineering part civil engineering part those who ever uh, say that i am the civil engineer but how much of my degree phd or my postdoc experience is important over here 
in order to passing in order to make such kind of thing does it need any engineering these are the material available in the market very cheap very much affordable and these are the things can be trained or can be shown or even there are people even in the villages or whereby the local people that who can put these things with this kind of network once they see they learn for that we don't have to train uh, these things or do a, another level of phd or mtech research on this this material available locally this sandy material is available this is impervious place them and all this uh, say square or cube just open box fill it up with the local material that available so on its own weight it will create a bond between these and these so when this water will rise up at least by another 1 ft or say 50 cm or there are certain such system available they are self supporting uh, of course i have not brought the slide they can make up to two story building two story building means two story building means 10 uh, 3.5 meter and 7 meter you can say 20 ft they are having some kind of uh, not this much elaborate of course it is a self supporting some kind of arm type of things arm just like this kind of this part will be there on the bottom and this part will be there to stop water from this side or from this side so with 7 meter 6 uh, 6 to 7 meter it is all made of the plastics it is all made of the pvc upvc or petroleum by products and these are available which can be laid down on this area in this case according to the need and appropriateness how much water that you have to bypass so that they do not enter over here so accordingly that we have to have some kind of measures and experience local experience how much water can go this so appropriately we can prepare ourselves to 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 stop or to prevent or to divert or to uh, make it's, you see such a long such things can be made arranged there while this information will be reaching us or previous experience will tell us sir uh, sir uh, may i comment on this uh, last discussion that yeah, yeah, yeah. sir i want to yeah. ask that uh, being a tropical i mean uh, in the tropical range our country uh, whatever you were explaining just like arc structure i have been seeing that in case of japan where in japan due to earthquake there is always some massive uh, waves coming so they have made some implementation of arc type of structure whatever structure you were explaining just now but in our country sir uh, why not going for natural way by, by planting trees like mangrove forest which are already being implemented in the sundarbans why not that natural process being implemented okay right ha huh. so why not we are going don't ask anyone can you be part of that can we be part of that okay sir ha huh. uh, it is i have been i have different areas in that area also only thing is that we want to see do you think okay. that this can be this water what is the problem what is the issue over here this water which is passing through this it should not inundate this area so you have to identify the problem now in order to if you put the tree or other greenery is already here let us contextualize our current discussion like uh, sundarban is not protected it is highly unprotected and you know cyclone and other things and uh, storm surge all is erosion is taking place and our people are suffering over there and we are making just like that uh, what is the crocodile tear we are shedding the crocodile tear uh, tear set, uh, sitting in our ivory tower here but when we go to the site and take certain measures like this then we can save this kind of infrastructure so uh, while making the trees and planting it is a lot of lot of projects are being taken up but uh, how much effective they are then we have to go to the site so similarly you see that how simple is getting this building eight story building remain functional with the water that which has come up by this kind of wall it is a boundary wall simply maybe there are lots of paints are available in the market 
enamel paint or uh, epoxy, epoxy paint, rubber paint, lot of paints are available. This, uh, for this, it may require maybe say 5,000 to 10,000 rupee to place the paint over here. But saving this from functionality with a sudden or whatever expected water level, we are able to save a greater things here. If this would have not been there or maintained, uh, then we would have lost much more. That is what that. Then stopping water going towards this side. These are all poly, poly, polythene bag. Uh, it is not polythene. It is made something that when it comes in contact with water, they become uh, just, they, they absorb water. Sometimes one such things, like it is just like a pillow, and when it is placed one over the other, then you can see that they do not allow water passing to this side. So these are the marketable and these are available in the market. Only thing is that we have to customize the need and as well as essence of applying such kind of technique, especially when disaster emergency is there or some kind of uh, say water or inundation emergency is there. So we have to make it that or even you can see that uh, how much uh, importance it is even in a residential house putting this kind of barrier and then saving themselves from the dam or if it is uh, uh, many buildings now these days we are having in the city area having uh, say underground so if this water goes inside in the underground you can think of that what kind of damage that uh, it is going to cause so putting such kind of flood barrier which is very simple it doesn't need any engineering it, it it needs only our presence of mind to save our facilities or even such kind of facility over this it is done somewhere else it is done somewhere else but you see that what is the simplistic things that it is doing how simply that these are being prepared our infrastructure to save these things and how nicely with the support that they are being made and we are allowing the water pass through so these are some of the uh, things that we have to see then let me come as i said let me come to the infrastructure america map you see infrastructure they have rated and they have made uh, so u.s infrastructure report by asc uh, american society of civil engineers and which has given a historic 1.2 trillion dollar budget uh, in the in the last year in the month of november uh, whereas uh, this america they have been rating their infrastructure in 19 category which i am going to show a little bit detail as an independent professional agency because infrastructure civil engineering is there but there are allied subjects and experts are also there professional agencies are there and we have hundreds of such professional organization uh, we know we make DPR and we make uh, many more uh, uh, project reports and then after disaster also there are some reports are being done. Uh, but we have not yet much systematized our post-disaster and pre-disaster health checking status report. And what is there is that they have given an entire structure across the country, 50 states. They have given C minus is their scorecard, which is a little upliftment from the uh, previous years of report, which they publish every three to four years, uh, starting from 1980. For the next five years, they have uh, earmarked $1.2 trillion to make infrastructure better because C grade is not a good grade. So simply take that way. And they have given like this, uh, this is that uh, bill passed. Now, uh, what is the importance of professional organization and their report to the politician or those who are the policy maker at the highest level, like in, we have our assembly or in the state level or parliament in the national level. There have been a lot of deliberations and then whatever is that bipartisan infrastructure investment and jobs act. So they have made uh, the largest federal investment in the nation's infrastructure in US history. 
So we are also investing in making new infrastructure because we are we have given lot of lot of uh, things in the road, in the tunnels, or in the airport and everything. We are investing a lot in making new one. But many are there already; they have become old. So we need a continuous checkup of the current infrastructure, uh, which are so uh, how they have. Report came in 2021, and in the same year, without much delay, but with lots of deliberation. Now you may say that in our parliamentary and things, the deliberations doesn't bring the uh, experts that are AC kind of experts, or even we are having also Institute of Civil Engineers, or so, um, our uh, many concrete institute, uh, or Indian Geotechnical Society, uh, even in electronics, in mechanical, we have thousands of such professional organizations having chapters uh, across the country, even uh, student chapter or professional level and so many things are there. We organize seminars, symposia, lectures or whatever conferences and everything. But doing something on behalf, like them safety will have come up. So there are a lot of experts uh, that have been involved in making such kind of things, but it is in a shape or in a format that suits to passing a bill or becoming an act and which is being discussed in the parliament uh, with the with our representatives that in a befitting manner in our way but the amount enthusiasm as well as deliberation technical and and, and authenticity uh, all these things from the professional uh, uh, domain uh, is uh, to be checked at our own level so uh, what the report conditions or uh, what the report takes care of it is something it is something that uh, the report has highlighted, you know, about the capacity, about the condition, about the funding, and based on which 1.2 trillion that they have given, uh, then future need, and then operation and maintenance they have given, report has given, it is a wonderful, it is a freely available report, you can see, infrastructure report, then public safety, you see and then re uh, resilience and then innovation so now let us look at that whenever we submit some projects to dst mos or even uh, other ministry we have 70 plus ministries are there whether it is technical or whether it is uh, uh, nanoscience or whether it is uh, bioscience whether it is uh, health science infrastructure when we submit a report our report has got certain format, which is defined by the uh, corresponding or uh, whatever uh, ministries are there, whether it is a Department of Science and Technology or Ministry of Arts Science, like uh, for everyone. And whether it is UGC, that when we submit a report, uh, I think it is all uh, we took, at, we look at the research and academic oriented. But time has come to make a multidisciplinary effort and which have started already, especially after the COVID, that making a multidisciplinary with a team, whether we take it with a team that there will be a societal relevance also will be there. And when three months, three years of project will be given, it will be released in the final uh, say, uh, allocation or budget amount will be released after we see that societal application is there. So these are being infused in our uh, say project uh, that given by various ministry, whether it's state level or in a uh, central government level. But uh, making a report about the infrastructure is, a, uh, is something that about the innovation that it is going to talk about, or it is going to say that how public safety is being uh, assured. So such kind of things generally, operation and maintenance, future need, other than funding that we need only so much fund but beyond that how much it is socially relevant how much it is public safety that it is going to take and these things have to uh, are be are to be made part of our project and in that case uh, uh, we are we we have to re uh, consider our uh, effort towards making project submission while well, uh, times are there and like even last month also there are some project sum submission uh, guideline, especially in the landslide uh, uh, warning system. In addition to this, national report card, AC section branches also, 
there are many sections and branches also prepare state reports on the rolling on a rolling basis so you can see that infrastructure report card or uh, dot org now let us see some of the things how the report you see how uh, they attract the public how it is relevant to the society in that report they say that by 2039 america's overdue infrastructure bill will cost average american household 3300 a year or 63 dollar a week generally our scientific uh, say project that when we submit it has got certain uh, limitations or certain kind of uh, defined boundaries are there limitations are there now based on that we do not have to put uh, such kind of thing but when it is a professional report like isc has made when it is to be submitted to the national government or state government then we have to we it is so easy uh, that these days to bring it to uh, such kind of you know picture based on the facts and figures now how these those facts are being collated every four years that they do and then it is uh, assigning a letter grades like c minus overall based on a physical condition and then needed investment for invest, invest uh, for improvement so these are the things that have been discussed in the report now you see uh, that there are 18 over here so whether it is aviation bridges broadband then dams drinking water energy and then uh, all these thing inland waterway the levees or public parks ports rail roads all these things are there and what is the overall grading you see america's cumulative uh, infrastructure grade is c minus a is exceptional we all understand these things and then uh, each of this uh, here you can see that uh, all this 19 such uh, category that they have made uh, based on this that what is the grading this one is with the green color indicating that it has improved you think about the aviation where no compromise is possible no compromise can be done whether it is airport in our delhi or airport in kochi or airport in hitro airport or something like that so in that case and, and then ports and other things such kind of grading uh, as per 2021 infrastructure grades that they have developed and now uh, this is what that we have to start uh, grading such things and with the best possible way that we could uh, to start with now let us see that how to communicate with each other uh, especially in the post disaster like uh, just a, a, a photograph not photograph you know, such kind of sketch is being shown like children they are in the school in normal time earthquake occurred or some emergency has occurred who will communicate with whom so it is just a such kind of uh, diagram uh, we can say that no parents or someone uh, that the guardian or even school teacher or who the whatever role has to be defined who will communicate with whom Uh, about their location or condition if earthquake has arrived or anything in that whatever way so what kind of line of communication has to be established and who will do what all these things are being predefined especially but uh, uh, here lot of that is these are the things that uh, many of the multidisciplinary organizations and national institute of disaster management and many other state level institutions they are very much into the capacity building and uh, making such kind of uh, capacity building program across the states and district level even even in village level in various facets of disaster communication so uh, now thing is that whenever something happen uh, you can say that first thing that we see we lose our communication with our normal mobile phone that we use So in that case, I wanted to show you one of the YouTube, uh, which you can see. When disaster strikes, communication lines is it are either disrupted or are shut down for security. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Audible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Audible. For any disaster response yes, effort to be effective, and thus it is important to ensure seamless communication links, which the first responders can use. Another typical issue faced during the rescue operation Toma. is coordination between the various first responders and other rescue teams. 
All of these rescue teams usually carry their own communication sets, which are seldom compatible with each other. And then there are first responders who are the citizens of the place who either have no communication sets or their mobiles have no signal. Command and control centers also need to communicate either with their headquarters or their back office teams through satellite links. You need a one-box solution to address all these communication problems. Elcom Innovation's innovative solution addresses all these problems with a mini mobile communication pack, MMCP. MMCP is an integrated communication box containing a modular and scalable command and control unit, which does the main control function of providing and switching interface to disparate communication systems. It connects and supports UHF or VHF or HF radio networks, a plug-in LTE or GSM module supporting 200 special SIM cards of MMCP's captive LTE network for existing smartphones available in field. It provides network of IP connectivity for IP endpoints, such as a voice recorder unit, and it has a built-in IP console with touchscreen display for call control. It also plugs in a VSAT link for backhaul connectivity. It can be powered on with the vehicle battery and can also run on a battery pack of 24 volts for round-the-clock continuous operation. Built to withstand harsh weather, it can withstand temperature ranging from minus 50 degrees centigrade to plus 70 degrees centigrade. It can be mounted on a vehicle or in command and control centers and can be made operational within minutes. In the event of a disaster, MMCP can be quickly transported by air and then mounted on the vehicle with the help of a vehicle mounting kit. Once at site, it can be powered on in minutes and is ready to take the plugins. By deploying the MMCP, all mobile handsets and wired phones, radios, both handheld and static, on different frequencies become integrated as one network functioning as intercom users. Special SIM cards for existing smartphones available in the field at the time of the search and rescue operations can provide network range of up to two to four kilometers. These mobile phones can easily communicate to landline phones or radios or terminals or local service provider operating on different protocols without any manual intervention through MMCP's captive LTE network. HF or UHF or VHF network can be plugged in. Be satellite connected in all matter of minutes. The teams can then communicate with each other irrespective of the handsets they possess. Live video feeds and coverage from the field captured by mobile handsets on the captive network can be transmitted back to local command and control centers and also to national headquarters using dedicated backhaul using MPLS IP network or high capacity VSAT network. Photos and videos can be transferred from one device to the other and to the headquarters over the satellite link. With MMCP, all the rescue teams get a seamless communication platform, which can save lives of many who need help in the first golden life-saving hour post-disaster. At Elcom Innovation, we believe in bringing convenience on your table and simplifying the complexity in communication technology. So, uh, what you can see... Uh, yeah. Uh, so you can see many such things that happening in India. So you are most welcome to call and invite them, or if you need to arrange such kind of things, we can uh, you can connect connect to them. You just uh, see. So it will be very uh, uh, great initiative from each one of you that you can you can have such you you think of something uh, that getting them also involved and do some more research and innovation into their product because you are from electronics, communication, IT, and everyone from disaster management together, 
uh, let us embrace uh, such technology that disaster post disaster communication where using all kind of uh, things i think that video has made everything clear that how they have been operating and to various uh, uh, information that how they are providing and but i will go even another thing uh, even advance uh, to this a uh, little later is about uh, <coughs> marketing intelligence these days uh, it is whether it is 3d printing whether it is artificial intelligence big data blockchain or wifi communication digitalization iot nanotech uh, like biotech biotech everything now we are all familiar, familiar, uh, familiar with and many wearable products are also available in the market and we have made the entire world like this or the one that which we are looking at i uh, i don't know whether you are familiar with because it is a uh, many country multi country support in india it is being manufactured and they are being supplied in many other countries and as per my information that uh, uh, like uh, chile you know that thousands of kilometer it is on the uh, pacific side so they have a lot of fishers a men community along the things and which we are also having in our eastern and western coast including on the man nicobar islands also how we communicate uh, with those uh, fishermen who goes even 200 km away from the coast so uh, and they are having some kind of uh, you know mobile communication but in case of cyclone if that communication is not made available then and when such kind of like you have seen in the previous video also when it is not possible to go even in cyclone prone area you cannot go by helicopter all in a sudden when communication most important the golden hour we say that within golden hour just immediately when cyclone uh, say landfall is there then at that time the communication is broken then you can think of so in that case helicopter kind of things no vehicle can pass to pass through that so you need something Uh, uh communication that which will be radio communication that is lora you are all familiar with this thing these communications are not with the through a gateway which has got around 100 853 megahertz range where it can communicate with anyone it can communicate with anyone with both way not video communication for the time being but which is also in the next level of uh, communication that they are making and it will be having a server like my office room where i am taking it is a server connected with a gateway this gateway can go up to 100 km 200 km it is not within 2 3 km under 200 km it can go uh, depending on that what frequency what is the uh, power that you are using i do not know much about uh, this uh, specification but things are available uh, in the country and they are supplying lot of such kind of communication devices as i say in Uh, chile what they did is that all the fishermen there are more than 1000 fishermen as per current report they have given this small devices which is very small one which i will show later on along with them they have their own mobile communication and everything now they are making also these things will be set up in the mobile phone itself like i have one chip here in my mobile so it is not that kind of communication but this one the chip that it is it randomizes the signal which comes like this in the and that is why you know mobiles are having certain range of uh, uh, frequency and signal which are not good for the health but so far that the technology has improved so much that we can go on speaking and other things but when you may uh, map the brain and other things while talking and while not talking there are lot of sub imageries are coming up uh, uh, and then there are uh, health experts uh, have lots to say Uh, lots to warn but we still go in our own way we have, do not have much of the sensitiveness but there are certain things especially lora based technology uh, uh, with through the gateway with that range that they do not need any electricity or anything even those technology they have got the battery only few months back i came to know that one battery one small battery they have they can support for 5 years of uninterrupted communication both a communication but now they have made some uh, improvement in that for 10 years you don't have to worry about the battery uh, it will go on functioning giving all the data communicating all the thing location and as well as 
giving a signal to the spot like which is being shown here alarm someone has got the uh, alarm then they will check in the computer dashboard that where it is and and then how many people even in dehradun uh, that they have uh, given this thing to the senior citizen so uh, there are in their living room in the bathroom in many places they have to press the panic button or that is also being synchronized with the mobile if they are not familiar because they are not that much uh, a uh, friendly the mobile based on that there will be a physically that some place at three four places even where senior citizens are living they have to press the button only accordingly that all the decisions who will go who will interact and um, what kind of network it is uh, being supported then how to correct that who will reach there and what kind of help is required everything can be deciphered and especially in digital health it is being used very much as far as internet of things technology this is taken from market to market market and markets that uh, there are so many iot testing smart homes and other things iot security industrial iot smart meter there are thousands of such things are there which has reached to this stage and then uh, especially these days whether it is a such kind of calling bell like this if i drop here it is a wireless only one battery is enough one battery is there enough but these day, these things have come so handy these days like from uh, how much is the price even 100 meter is enough to get this 100 rupees is enough to get this kind of bell and how much sound it is there these are all in market it is available or even uh, magic overflow water button these are all familiar even 85 rupees is you know, less just around a 1 dollar or something which is affordable but uh, thing is when these are the things that market how much how many of them we are able to encourage the skill of making these things rather than bringing it from the outside and making a things that we are sanirbar and other things we have to make it somehow at our own research laboratory as well as uh, make it in the market and then go on uh, extra mile to get this thing indigenous like such kind of things when it happens you see devastating this landslide then uh, then domain of iot in existence like uh, whether it is lora base panic button just only you have to now they are having this panic button is having also cctv camera here some kind of intelligent camera if someone say police and i will show little bit later if someone put this panic button just for making and whether it is rich, uh, whether it is really uh, the event has taken place or not Uh, you know if a camera is also mounted together so it will send the signal along with the camera also then we have got more uh, flexibility as well as authenticity uh, to check that if any event or panic button kind of signal has come which we can locate in our google earth even we for that we don't have to spend many thing in the google earth itself or in the google map itself things uh, are being uh you know geotagged in such a way that which are the in which places this panic button are working which are not working similarly you see this is becoming very very uh, essential now these days a smart covid 19 carbon dioxide sensor uh, it has been there are certain research paper they say that if carbon dioxide concentration is more than 1000 ppm like uh, uh, then if you uh, this has got that sensor uh, then it will give automatically you don't have to when it goes beyond say 1000 this will send a signal to the through the gateway without any connection this is to be put only in some places no only a battery will be there no wire connection no electricity nothing so it will check that which house or which room or which bedroom is having more than 1000 uh, say or whatever threshold can be set whether it may be 500 1000 2000 5000 10000 Uh, wherever say very uh, large uh, industrial area where carbon dioxide may be is uh, through a process it is coming up that can be sent so once product is there we can use customize it whatever places that we want and accordingly we can make some kind of surveillance or study checking and these are all marketed products and i would say that uh, uh, let us uh, learning a lot of things but these are the products already available so in that case we don't have to reinvent the wheel let us see uh, 
mass scale application of these products, mass scale application of these products, uh, so that uh, we can make, like people counter in a Kumela or somewhere area, some gate or even in the airport, in uh, just how many people are there or uh, even in a large gathering, how many, how many people are there, they have reached there. Only put one in the small gate where we put and they will count that how many people are there, where they are located. Like if this one is kept in my room, it will, it will give the information that in my room right now I am alone. So it will show that one person is there. So you see that when this kind of products are there, it gives us uh, such kind of information. At least let us not explore that who have developed or whether we can do it indigenously or not. Let us go more on application oriented. So those of you who are applying for the projects, please uh, visit uh, such kind of uh, product that which are already available. And then these are all very cheap, very cheap. And, and then in that case, in your project, uh, let us let let me see that how we can collaborate with each other, uh, because here we do only some kind of training and other things. And you, my you are very much familiar with the technology and know how. While you framing a project, a low budget project, maybe for a month or two, like you want to check the water quality, air quality, uh, in the city or in a, in the locality or in the industry or in in the lab research lab. So use such kind of things and based on the database being collected, refine and, and then bring a, a, a kind of awareness about uh, uh, such things and their application. So uh, there is nothing like industry for characterize the four foundation and technology applied along the value chain where you all know that how we are and we have to update a lot of things, McKinsey and company uh, just I have taken. And there are how COVID-19 gave a sense of sensors and surveillance. A lot of such kind of uh, things are available, IU devices in our country that it is. These are all uh, being made available in the uh, our information. The thing is that to make such kind of perfections, uh, it is, these are all theoretical. But to bring some practical things, then we have to see in the market and see or even, even give a search, Sci-Hub and other things, give certain kind of search button. See that what is the current stage of technology, which you are all familiar with. Bring those things into the project proposals and with the students and make them relevant to the reality of uh, such kind of surveillance. Whether, like I said that for this kind of uh, bipolar sensor that we need 1.5 crore. So people have got, so they have installed these things in many of the hospitals and ICUs, so there they don't use the mask. So once that, because they have got, they are able to check and calibrate that whether really virus, uh, COVID virus is there or not, or fungus is there or not, which are the main source of even, you know, um, uh, main source of, uh, you know, death or lots of money that we spend in maintaining the hygienic conditions in the in our hospitals or other things. So many of us are not aware of, because, but when you make a such kind of surveillance and some kind of sensors that you will be keeping, then actually you will come to know that in and around hospital in a locality, that where people come from, the patients or uh, patient parties, they come from various parts of the country and they reach there and where so many patients and so many diseases are, their pathogen, their, their air is uh, being uh, having so many different kinds of disease and pathogens are floating in the aerosol, then we should, it should appeal our mind that to check that how many of them are really dead or, and what kind of instrument or sensors that we can keep it, IoT can make a revolution in the surveillance of these things. So uh, we have to bring such kind of theory into the practice for making uh, the life more easier. Like I have shown in the beginning that this is long back, it was showing that how transparent things, or even when we wash the hands, you product, you name any product in some of the websites or Google or 3M or whatever, you will see that there are certain, already people have done a lot. So when we wash the hand in the beginning, the two years back when Corona started, then wash the hand 20 seconds, keep it something that the kind of things that uh, at that time, which was felt necessitated by the experts, we did. 
But when we are watching 20 seconds, why it is 20 seconds? Then a lot of deliberations that our experts have made over the mass media that why 20 seconds? Because within 20 seconds, those protein that when it comes and uh, like rather those virus, uh, whatever their uh, protein is there, that life uh, that gets uh, killed by the soap, uh, which is uh, there. But we have got certain kind of products and other things where multi-million or billion dollar industry can be created by making this that when we have been having in our bathroom or toilet, public toilet, that uh, that uh, the dryer is there. So we can bring some kind of innovations in this area while washing the hands by soap, then put it in a certain kind of uh, scanner that it will check whether it, it has got uh, enough checking is there, whether it is UBC, of course, we cannot directly apply, but there are UBC uh, and other kind of uh, devices are there, uh, which you can see the details, uh, just I saw that it may be important. And some of the application of such kind of panic buttons and other things and satisfaction report, which have been shown over here, like here. So these are all applied and, and but the applicability is very slow in our country because we go by the examples and here it is in Delhi itself, they have applied. I'm not going to the commercial application, but we have to see that to what extent our research, our projects, and our how many PhD that we are producing, how much they are contributing towards the emergent need for establishing such kind of surveillance system, whether it is a shopping mall, whether it is a hotel, whether it is a railway station, whether it is an airport, whether it is a road, what kind of thing. So how much use that our research is going to make. So that kind of connections we have to establish now onward. Like uh, this kind of the police, fire and other things with colors and everything. And if it is, uh, it is of course in Chennai, they have done, but many more projects are coming up uh, in this way. But uh, of course, I'm not buying for making these projects and other things. Just I want to say that when in the market, so many things are there, let such kind of things enter into the space of our study, research, teaching, and whatever that we do in our universities or in our institute or especially in our engineering. So uh, in this case, I would say that this makes me really, oh, it is already going to be five o'clock. There are lots of experiments that we can do. This is taken from one of the, uh, one of the lecture. Uh, given over here is an open lecture that Justin, Dr. Justin Rees, uh, University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, that gave a lecture that uh, what side of carbon, uh, this, uh, which side we are going, this is a living organism. It is put under, say, current level of carbon dioxide. Uh, normal carbon dioxide is around 418 or 19. And we are very much uh, uh, sensitive enough 418, oh yes, 1990 level. There are lots of measurements and data being floated. What PPM and other things. So when it is increased to seven times, means 2,800, you see that the size of that has increased. So uh, there are certain kind of research goes on, observation goes on, where we don't have to make a new instrument or other things, but in our day-to-day -day life, when with the students or with the teachers, or we are uh, very soon maybe uh, you will be all going back to the university institute that you are teaching, and then students will be coming there. So whenever your projects and other things are there, please uh, emphasize the students and the community and your authority to make such kind of simple experiment and check on the control environment that how uh, you can make uh, or we can make as a nation or as a uh, citizen make some footprint in our observation and experiments. So, uh, okay, I think uh, let me not go because there are a lot of other things are there. Maybe I'll go for another lecture later on because I have just covered only two items out of six. Another four items, maybe I'll take it later on. Because one of the things that from analog to digital, what kind of innovation that have come up? This is the innovation that from 132 AD, this is the seismometer at that time, detecting seismicity, seismicity in China. 
but we have come a long way in defining what was there and we put some signs mechanics behind this when the ground will shake like this then something kind of pendulum kind of things are there then this when this will be shaken here which is pendant over here then this ball will fall down then we will come to know that some kind of shaking or vibration has taken us that was the kind of science uh, that people have thought of more than say 2000 years ago uh, something like that but taking this to this level and deciding an earthquake within one second to two second after it occurrence and the kind of sophistication and the kind of algorithm that uh, that uh, we have established over the last 10 15 years is a marvelous shift from this kind of analog things 2000 years ago to this level of things that for the last 15 20 years that where any earthquake is happening in our vicinity say within anywhere in the world provided we have got seismometer around it takes two to three seconds to 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 say that what is the magnitude of the earthquake and what is the location where it has occurred. So for that, we have to have a network of seismometer wherever earthquake occurrence. The earthquake doesn't occur uh, everywhere. Like in India, it is a Himalayan part. And that too in the uh, seven sisters or including Sikkim, the eight sisters or whatever you can say in that northeastern part of our country. So where every one month, two month, or in the Myanmar border up it comes. Uh, we have got some dense network of seismometer, but not that dense enough or uh, say they are uh, not that much accurate or uh, officially uh, uh, scientifically authenticated to tell like the one that where it takes two to three seconds to tell about the location intensity of that. When it takes two to three seconds, by that time, the, from the source of the earthquake, the wave might have traveled at the rate of say uh, three kilometers. So after 10 kilometers, we can disseminate these things in terms of early one. Okay, so let me stop over here. Then uh, maybe later on we'll say some very, very interesting things that we'll say. At the end, I would say that uh, whatever one and half an hour that we have been talking of, uh, this is if you think that this is a simple pendulum and it was uh, subjected to an earthquake and then it is okay, it will come back. But when you look at creativity that it has done due to the vibration, the kind of impression that it has, it has put up in that museum, it is called earthquake rose. Now it is up to us that whether we'll be satisfied enough an earthquake has come in my mobile phone and we have disseminated even day before yesterday also it has come in Afghanistan. And if we think that it is only for dissemination and sharing information like we do, thank you, good morning and good evening, then we don't have to think much about that. We have to see in between this to this, which that earthquake has caused to make a rose kind of things in the museum itself. So we have to delve and go deep into this kind of creature that it has made. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, sir with your permission, I am yeah. opening, opening the session for the question and answer. Yeah, yes. I could see that uh, Everybody is putting thank you. Please don't put this thank you and other things. We are all professional, huh? don't you think? Why you have to thank me so many times? Very informative. These are not the kind of communication that you have to make. You ask the questions. <laughs> no, no, this is not the communication. I'm uh, really... You involved and evolved us all together. We are all, uh, you know... Uh, living in the country, let us uh, let us encourage each other, let us help each other to grow with the kind of few things that uh, you, uh, you are also uh, having lots of ability and so our job is CIDC on behalf of CIDC also uh, the, to encourage you and to be with all of us together. Yes. Uh, sir, we, uh, sir uh, 
सर मैं एक आज से आज सम क्वेश्चंस रिगार्डिंग योर डिस्कशन टुडे यस यस सर माय सेल्फ आई एम फ्रॉम हेल्थ एंड टेक्नोलॉजी आई एम फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट सो एनीवे ऑल्दो द डिस्कशन टुडे वाज नॉट एट ऑल रिलेटेड टू माय ब्रांच ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग बट आई एम आई आई वाज वेरी मच Uh, listening to your lectures it was quite interesting after all and lot of startup ideas was also coming up but my i could not understand yeah. this fact that uh, since uh, in the on 7th of february and saturday whatever discussion was there what i was thinking huh. that uh, something related to intensive training will be discussed but i am not able to understand that today's topic uh, i what i got is that there was there is lot of research prospects and lot of startup ideas that can be implemented from this discussions but i want to know yeah. that how we will be imparting this discussions to the students huh. how you are going to so, so you tell how you are going to i have told almost one and half an hour that that initiative oh, no. and creativity innovation has to come and when students are going to come to your campus you discuss this is already recorded and uh, and then you are more open to uh, call or make a google meet or something any time for further taking this one this kind of effort okay sir uh, that is one way that you can uh, share the videos and uh, students will be listening to that but what i mean to say is that nowadays students what i feel is that they are not at all interested to do, listen it on their own just like uh, you had an interactive discussion with us so that's why we were listening with eagerness but on yeah. the other side if we are trying to impart this knowledge to the students they will not be interested to listen it on their own that no, no, means no. i have to i'm talking about maybe within a week or two your, your students will be coming you will be going to the campus then you take care because it is enough of online now what we are talking maybe another 10 15 20 days or one month's time when you will be physically there let us have a blending of this let us not say may i uh, put them that may i ask one thing uh, but that uh, as being teachers we will be discussing as far as our knowledge is concerned but i want to know that can we invite some speakers so that at least half an hour so that they will be motivated in some aspect No, isn't it that because it is all of you are teacher ah so you have got certain of course we have not talked much about the electrical but you are all from the engineering fraternity and there are so many things are there where uh, some of the products some of the technology some of the know how some of the like uh, infrastructure rating it is not that uh, there are so many innovations that uh, idea that being uh, given there like transparent mask how to make it or the iron how to measure the iron here like the machine that i am showing over here this one right sir. and how uh, so in that case you can uh, take few of these things and then motivate the students as far as coming of course when things will be open up in a week or two weeks of time then we will be normal as if that we come any time when going toward towards uh, that side then we visit and students can come here we we are always open for uh, in our institute for uh, internship also of course right now online offline both are going on and my first okay. emphasis is identify the problem which will help the community beyond the classroom outside the classroom outside the boundaries of the institute but with the community so usme uh, then you plan it that uh, who are the uh, you make a multidisciplinary things thank you sir thank you sir me me yeah. hello hello ha huh. ha uh, sir i am dr parthasharthi das from holdia institute of technology okay welcome sir professor my home state uh, uh, so i want to ask you that uh, you have shown many iot based devices uh, uh, one iot based just just uh, you have shown many iot based devices mm. and 
one panic button device you have shown yeah and one camera yeah. is installed on that device huh yeah one camera is installed in that device ha huh. now new new devices have come with the camera no my question is that we are i suppose i ore varathala ave mood in my home ore varathala ave kaalil mood in the device where camera is installed now that uh, it is the uh, when the camera is installed and it is a electronic system so anyone can hack this and i will lose my privacy in home so what is the cyber security there may be a cyber security related problem if we use this type of device in home where camera is installed so how much protected i may lose my privacy in home with that camera because someone may hack this camera this electronic system so what is the uh, some cyber security point of uh, view how much it is uh, a protective device from cyber security point of view so you know cyber security is a much bigger bigger area but when we are using gmail 99% of the country's population and we know that anyone's gmail can be hacked and anyone's uh, and in gmail we have synced all our password all 50 60 passwords and everything you know that within a click of mus- uh, button we can see that what password in which uh, area that we have given but one thing is cyber security and everything when uh, we are using so many free uh, softwares and other things but when it is to be used customized way as far as i am told because i am not a qualified uh, person in this area as far as i am told by the experts in that area who are producing these devices uh, this uh, iot devices which are connected through lora based technology those cannot be hacked and those those are stand alone things nobody else because it has to reach to that uh, a uh, communication range which uh, are one to one end to end communication is there but if you have to uh, it will be good enough that in haldia you i can arrange a, uh, maybe one hour two hour kind of seminar along with the company and the people that who have been doing it is this day they will be very happy to describe this thing and these days communications are becoming a uh, little bit normal so they can visit along with these devices to your institute i'd be very happy to tell them to visit your institute and make it is a event that uh, in your haldia thank you sir thank you huh? that will be good and then uh, you can i can uh, you can see mutual core you can see the communication it is all taken from the internet sir uh, may uh-huh. yeah. I am Professor Jagannathra from Chetan Bharat Institute of Technology, Hyderabad, sir. Uh-huh. Um, very nice lecture, in fact. Uh, I have two questions. Uh, one is to you and uh, one to Pawan Kumar ji. The first question is related to the topic which you have discussed. Many topics you have discussed. Out of one, uh, you have shown a material which absorbs water. Uh, watched a video also, WhatsApp video, uh, which absorbs water and uh, water-related problems can be solved. Uh, spilling or maybe even floods also. Uh, hmm. what is the yeah. material is it available on is it uh, sustainable my question is that is it sustainable chemically safe or what is it actually that is to you sir uh-huh. um, yes sir uh, you are you your uh, what you teach which is your subject area i am structural engineering sir structural engineer yes so what do you see you have seen the photographs yes sir and how many days uh, in flood inundation is there hardly one day two day three day maximum yes 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 so in that case if, uh, so we have to see various stages the purpose for like three four photographs that i have shown they are for few hours or few days at the most three applications that i have shown so accordingly you have to like on the road itself there are some polyurethane bags are there so it is for few hours only yeah yeah you are 100% right sir it is for few hours Uh, we are safe but it has to be disposed somewhere is it safe uh, uh, we don't know the chemistry of it that's why you know these are all chemically inert material plastics and other Actually. things you know okay okay sir. chemically okay. inert material these are plastics is everything is plastic there are more than 6000 petroleum by products are available as on day 60 years back hardly five material were available other than petrol and diesel or kerosene yes. but now there are more than several everything is petroleum by products so yes. accordingly 
geosynthetics and other geo membrane and so many things are there so once you are using which is serving a much bigger purpose than the price unit price of that material and you need not to it is these are all you know reusable you can uh, reuse uh, these things for the next time when you are going to be coming there uh, huh? so thank you sir okay sir uh, second question is pavan um, kumar ji uh, you have mentioned the flare that uh, the uh, framing of the questions of level 5 and 6 will be dealt with so in the subsequent classes they will be dealt with uh, in in a particular subject uh, level bloom's taxonomy level 5 and 6 and 4 and above rather uh, this is second question sir Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Sir, uh, uh, try to understand the objective of the program. Basically, AIFT has developed a system to assess the students and the young faculty. For that, they have asked to submit a multiple choice questions from the academia. Mm -hmm. and academicians have uh, submitted uh, several questions related to their curriculum and the uh, syllabi and the and the course they are uh, teaching uh, to the students now that is uh, restricted to up to level 3 level 1 2 and 3 now aict is desiring that the questions of level 4 and 5 and 6 should be related to the industry not uh, only related to the academia or curriculum because those questions have been covered in the level 1 2 3 that is already uh, with uh, with uh, aict yes sir yes sir so so these questions these mcqs are not related to your area of teaching these questions should be associated with the industry so we are inviting so why we are inviting the dignitaries uh, from the industry do professor chandan ghosh is professor and he has uh, worked in academia but he is very renowned uh, uh, person in the industry as if after expert and as i have given uh, in his brief profile so the outcome of this program uh, associated with cidf are being conducted by the cidf that the um, multiple choice questions should be related to the Uh, to the industry so for this is open for all this is not related to the electrical engineering or electronic engineering or like civil engineering this should be related to the industry sir is it clear sir Yes, sir. My my question is: Is it possible to set questions of level four and beyond level four uh, in multiple choice questions or uh, one word questions, one line answers like that? Level four and beyond. Uh, I have my own references on this. Sir, I request Professor uh, Go Far to respond, sir, because he is expert, sir. Huh? Yeah. Again, can you repeat? in fact sir this is procedure adopted by the aict sir uh, professor asked me that is it possible mm -hmm. that uh, questions of level 4 and 5 could be created in uh, objective type question okay uh, already level 1 2 3 4 they are made in a multiple choice question no yes sir okay. yes sir so of course sir you will share ppt ha uh -huh. you will yes, share sir. ppt sir yes sir ppt will be shared in the group sir yeah okay yeah. sir but when this recording is there you see each and every ppt along with my description no when recording yes. is there for one and half an hour <laughs> okay sir okay sir i want to ha uh, uh, sir it will be made available all ppt uh -huh. that are presented uh, in the group mm -hmm. 
Okay, you sir. You think it is required? It is already recorded, no? Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you, <laughs> you sir. Can, you can. That will be more easy, no? The because description is more important. Be, be, sir, be, yes, sir. Because I will uh, deploy in the um, college and uh, faculty members and also the students. Okay. They uh, they will learn okay. and they will uh, share. Share. apply. Yeah. Okay. Uh, good evening, sir. Myself, Kasturi from Kongi Engineering College, sir, Tamil Nadu. Mm -hmm. uh, sir, yeah. what uh, sir has told uh, Jagannath Rao, sir, told. Same thing, sir. Uh, presently, whatever uh, we have uh, done in the curriculum, up to K, um, Bloom's level, um, we have mapped, sir. K1, K2, K3, we know, this, sir. But a uh, little bit difficult in uh, asking the questions in K4 and K5, K6, sir. Okay. Uh, that is where I think his sir is also asking whether we have to set the questions or uh, what is the strategy we, we have to follow, sir? I think today is the first day. Huh? Yes. As in when five day things are going on, five days, you are given certain guideline. Main okay, thing sir. is, you know, AICT and CIDC, they are, uh, you know, every these days, you know, students have to be prepared with um, multiple choice questions and little descriptions and other things. Not that two page, three page answer that they are going to, and you know, you are a teacher. So yes. now you see, based on the deliberations, like every faculty that we are going to give you, you have to, uh, you are encouraged to frame certain questions that uh, uh, for each of, uh, based on the deliberation being made uh, in the form of guideline that given in level four and five, especially industry specific. Yes, so sir. For for setting questions in level four, five, and six, sir, we at least we need to do certain kind of implementation level. Uh, that kind of experience only will make the uh, we can be able to set the questions, sir. Uh, maybe at this present of level, is it uh, possible, sir? That is your teacher. You have to make it possible. Yes, sir. Presently, we we have done up to level three, sir. Some cases we have done level four, sir. But not in level five. Level five is kind of a create, sir. Madam, so, sorry to, yes, madam, sorry sir. to interrupt you. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, Professor Chandan, sir. Uh, uh, one more thing, I want to make it clear. Uh, as per our understanding, uh, we have attended a couple of uh, um, workshops and FDPs organized by ACT, like examination reforms and all. So, as per our understanding, uh, even in a, a examination of three hours, uh, hmm. we can't set the questions beyond the level of four. Level five and six, they, they, they can be given to the students, which involves the evaluation or creativity. Uh, they can be given in the laboratories. The problems can be given in the laboratories or uh, projects. So the multiple choice questions we ask us to prepare uh, level five and six, how would it be? I wonder. That's the basic reason I've joined to learn about that. Mm -hmm. Sir. And that too, in addition to that, uh, so, sorry to interrupt. Ah, yeah, please. And um, that too, in addition to that, uh, see, uh, when you know the complete subject, I think uh, something you can give uh, in terms of L4, L5, L6 like that. And when you're hearing for first time, it is difficult to give in that level. Yeah. But that is what I meant. Suppose if you are in the same field, I think you may give uh, related to that. And since it is a first uh, class and we are not knowing anything, uh, in the sense, basically we are not knowing after listening to you we heard something and we got to know a few uh, you know the research uh, things and probably in the first session itself it is very difficult to give that level five and six as they said okay of course of course uh, i think uh, uh, whatever i have presented you say i have put my my perspective in knowing that uh, it is not civil engineer only so i put something communication and IoT devices and other things where the market is going on. Transparent mask, you see. For that, you know, transparent mask is also available. So we don't we don't have to uh, innovate. No, it is not like that. Even some of the questions I would say, as and when tomorrow, day after tomorrow, we'll discuss internally with CIDC also and AICT. Uh, that uh, like uh, I have shown uh, some of the photographs, like especially the crab. The crab with 400 ppm and seven times of carbon dioxide is there in that and where it has grown up. So you can make several types of questions based on this, that giving this photograph only, 
giving that only that uh, uh, that slide only photograph that itself then you can frame your question in fact i have been doing i am teaching uh, some of the disaster management courses in one of the university uh, there what happen uh, like uh, earthquake is uh, predictable as well as say suppose uh, information is given a statement is given earthquake is not possible to predict multiple choice means true false a b most of us we think that there are certain events certain aspects which are neither true nor false then in that case you can just uh, uh, on this basis beyond a and b we have to see what is a c option can be what is a d option can be so it can be a operation based it can be your your own subject area you can see that make certain kind of subjective information and based on that you frame that question some of them i have shown and each slide i would say that each slide that i have shown there can be i can set 10 questions for each of the slide with various way true false maybe true something all the above not all the above and uh, it is possible not possible something like that so you have to see pictorially also you can represent something or you can frame your questions good evening sir i'm uh, dr pubali mukherjee from mckv institute of engineering howrah lilua so as per the discussion uh, i have come to know that like suppose these kinds of questions you are saying true false but uh, these are again coming in the lower order of the bloom's taxonomy sir as mr avinash said uh, for a person from a different stream it is really very difficult to go in depth and uh, create design based and implementation based questions so if uh, mm. we are allowed to frame questions of this sort true or false it is fine i think for all of us but uh, that really doesn't map to levels 4 and 5 as it is asked for sir by humble suggestion to please make it clear mm. sir uh -huh. okay we'll see that uh, tomorrow we'll have more discussion we'll have some internal discussions on your concern but at the same time uh, i would say that please come out of the classroom your concepts and other things you have to forget what you have been teaching to the students and what you have studied there look at the community what kind of problem that we are facing don't we face a flood inundation don't we face cyclone don't we face the communication breakup during any emergency then don't you think that your computer it that what you have been doing that you can you can connect yourself what do you think you think in that yeah, direction yeah yeah fine so sir in uh, in that case uh, i think uh, if we think it in this manner that uh, your lecture just gives us uh, the guidelines as to how we should adapt our way of thinking and go mm. more in the subject and frame questions accordingly yeah. so uh, that is i think i think you have just given four or five uh, things uh, topics like you have discussed mm. and uh, beyond that also i think uh, we should think and frame questions of that standard which really needs yeah. i think a little bit of study from our side also so i think yeah. uh, that has to be managed before tomorrow's session if mm. i'm uh, and answer well, the question study means uh, I, I think, think you uh, come out. You come out with the idea. Maybe tomorrow we will have discussion. More discussion with you. You come okay, out with okay. the idea. No, no, whatever no, no, I have shown, I showed no, only ten percent of whatever slides that I had. It is okay, one or okay. two aspects only I have shown. There are there are at yeah, least twenty yeah. aspects are there. But yeah, yeah. I showed something that which is relevant to civil, electrical, mechanical, and everything. Yeah, yeah. Now no, that's true, sir. We all have our domains of expertise. Yeah. No worries. Yeah. But uh, what I meant is that we have to come out from our domains, look into things, yeah. maybe yeah. in a yeah. little advanced manner, and put up questions. But that, uh, for advanced. that, I the think kind of IoT devices and other things that which we are yeah, using, that's... the kind of mobile phone that we are using, where more than fifty kind of materials are there. don't you think that it should appeal to our students and our research lab in our project framing that who is making De how it definitely is definitely sir definitely sir but what bothers at least bothering me is uh, the level of questions being 5 4 and 5 1 2 3 it's okay sir for all of us even 3 it's okay 
four mm. and five needs uh, lots of digging into the subject and if it is oh. not our subject the time constraint becomes uh, a, a bit difficult not impossible sir but a bit difficult i think uh, we can give it a try we, we, you, you as a teacher uh, that uh, you know we we are always open uh, to think beyond that what we have been doing that okay, will sir, give, we'll that give, will give a uh, internal satisfaction as well as our relevance to the society okay thank you sir okay. Okay, thank you. So far, uh, uh, with uh, several questions. Uh, hmm. Kavita, huh? Malagati uh, raised. Yeah. Anyone? you please uh, it will be good that you communicate through chat box uh, with your questions framed that will be easier and others also will be able to read it huh? so it will be more in the communication and of course two years is enough to, you know, on the online but let us see on the flip side of this the kind of we have been able to meet with all of you in the same platform and the kind of communication that we have made and then we are able to reach to each one of you and the rest of the life that is remaining that how the, uh, we are going to utilize our uh, this session that for you that coming up or in between the session for the students and for the community and for the institute and of, of course uh, coming out of uh, the conventional kind of uh, teaching a research or project that we have been doing so far and if you uh, if you just uh, if we see come out of the corridor or living in the room itself there are so many diseases are there not in the body only but in the houses the building the roads the uh, nalas the kind of things that problem is not is to identify at our own level and not that only like in case of delhi mcd ko ek khabar kar diya and then i have done my job or fir kar diya isn't it now the level of communication and uh, teaching as well as uh, preparing the citizen of the of the country or of the world is to see that how to familiarize with the things that happening around us and it is not connected to only a, a, a writer or a play uh, uh, someone is writing a big poetry or someone is making Uh, 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 a big novel or making a uh, something like bestseller so in our technology also we have to become maybe our attitude and our interest we have to develop and nurture uh, in that manner everything is to be taken in a uh, spirit that uh, it comes to the benefit of the society and that you all understand i need not to reemphasize these things Uh, but as far as technology know how the kind of things iot devices that we are using or artificial intelligence you have got nanotechnology that you have got lot of lot of exposure many of you writing research or uh, publishing also but thing is how, uh, our effort would be all together to make multidisciplinary and address the problem that we are facing with the technology know how and uh, ambience that we want to create yeah rajesh mukherjee yeah uh, good afternoon sir uh, myself rajesh mukherjee from professor rajesh mukherjee from holday institute of technology and uh, i just want to ask uh, some query related to the form where i need to uh, put off the question uh, there certain field is a uh, little bit uh, uh, difficult to, seems to me to understand that uh, there is two field one is question difficulty and other okay. ug pg diploma what that fields actually signify लेवल ऑफ क्वेश्चन एज पर योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग टीम ऑफ सी आई डी सी एंड ए आई सी टी विल फाइनली डिसाइड द लेवल ऑफ द क्वेश्चन बट ट्राई टू ट्राई टू पुट द क्वेश्चन at the higher level not at the beginner le beginner's level mm -hmm. and the 
CIDC and the AIFT will finally decide the level of the question. No, sir. Uh, sir, my question is that uh, under the category of question difficulty, uh, should I put it uh, in Bloom taxonomy three, four, or five, or should I mention is is as a easy, intermediate, or hard as per no, my no, understanding? No, 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 sir. Like four, five uh, only. Four, five, and six. Okay, I need to mention that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Four, five, six. Okay, and the UGPG diploma. There is a tag. What's what that signify? Uh, that that means that uh, uh, that the level of teaching of uh, uh, your your kind, uh, you, you, uh, uh, your level of teaching. My level of teaching. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Understood, sir. Understood. Thank okay. you. Okay, okay, I can okay. see another hand, Kavita, 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 Sir, uh, we have shared the uh, Google form, having okay. the complete format to to take the questions. Okay. Uh, faculties uh, have to submit their questions and the options uh, answer, and uh, had a small uh, remark in that form. So each and everything is available in the form. Generally, we take the Questions from ne uh, uh, sorry uh, up to next day five five p.m. But uh, uh, it is not very very strict timing because we are running the session, so we can take the questions uh, 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 a little uh, a little bit uh, later also. But uh, try to try to complete the uh, complete the uh, question answer. Uh, in one or two days, not uh, beyond that. Otherwise, it will create problem to us to compile. Compile them. Okay. Yes. Ma Madam Kavita, Professor Kavita, please. She's not uh, there, I think. Okay, I think. Huh. Oh, somebody else. Is, uh, mm -hmm. there, there is one request from uh, my side. Uh, you are expert of uh, uh, today's session, and if uh, faculty has several questions so like uh, uh, MCQs and this and that, they may ask directly to me in the WhatsApp group or uh, uh, through. Uh, my mail ID. This is not right uh, forum for uh, mm. the questions related to the MCQs, Google Form, and the time limit. We we will discuss in the WhatsApp group or personally. They ask me because sir, this is uh, not area of uh, 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 your interest. Sir. You are expert, mm. and uh, and it is my request that. Uh, uh, these questions are not related to the prof uh, to Professor Go. These yeah. are related to the admi ad admin uh, yeah. coordinator of this program. Hmm. Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah, there is one hand raised, uh, Rose. Uh, I need Teresa. Yes, good evening, sir. This is Dr. Rose from Rajalakshmi Engineering College, Chennai, sir. Uh, just uh, wish to know whether this uh, video, the session, today's session will be uploaded in uh, YouTube uh, channel CADC so that we can listen to the lecture again today itself, if it's possible. M Madam, uh, I am writing continuously that uh, the recorded videos will be uploaded uh, on the CIDC YouTube channel. I have given, given the link uh, okay. of the CIDC YouTube channel in the group. Uh, Okay. Generally, it takes three, four hours to upload the videos because uh, downloading the 
uh, videos in our system and then uploading mm -hmm. it will take three four hours madam. okay sir okay sir and now just now i just visited the youtube it was uh, i just uh, thought it will be uploaded today i'll do that sir thank you yes ma'am. thank you teacher so sir uh, thank you thank you sir uh, it's a really great uh, opportunity for us and for the young faculty to have association with you and uh, have uh, uh, knowledge, uh, uh, great knowledge, uh, great knowledge based uh, uh, session uh, uh, delivered by you, sir. Definitely, oh. sir, uh, uh, we will share uh, questions if hmm. uh, we received related to your area of expertise. Okay. okay. But again, thanks uh, to you, sir, and thanks hmm. uh, everyone to join the session. Uh, in our faculty development program. Thank, okay. you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.